Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner and Arlen's Travels. How in the world are you guys doing today? I hope all is well with everyone and thank you so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to today. And what I'm up to today is a uh, what's in my carry-on and my must-haves updated video. <laughs> Getting ready to go on our next trip this summer back to Alaska, of course. And I thought I would try to downscale what I'm taking this time. Now we'll see how I do with this. I am, as I always say, I'm not a minimalist. I don't judge those who are and I don't expect them to judge me for not being. <laughs> but I do want to try to take less only because we're only going to be gone a week. And I just want to try it and see how I do. I found a new spiffy hanging organizer. I'll show you that in a minute. And I'm going to try to utilize for most of my must-haves and, and whatnot. So let's get started. I want to yammer on real a lot here right in the front of the video. So let me get started with my carry-on. For those of you who follow along with me, you'll know that I just recently found a really great sale through uh, Vera Bradley. They have like an outlet sale and they do it every now and again. And I was able to get a great new travel bag, and I'm going to go through it with you, uh, for a song, you guys. This thing, I think, was a, a, originally $138, and I got it for like 40 some something like that. Uh, it, was, it was a great price. And this is a carry-all travel bag, I believe, from Vera Bradley. And uh, if I can find a link, I'll tell you what, you guys, I'm not going to do links for this video because invariably when I give links, they don't work after, you know, a month or two. So I will just give you the name of this bag, I believe. So I just don't want to give links and have you not have them not work for you guys, you know. So you guys can look it up on the on the Vera Bradley site or you can go to uh, eBay, look it, look it up there. Even Amazon has it there. So all those places. But anyway... I am going to use a new bag. I usually new, uh, use a backpack, but I decided I wanted a little bit larger bag this time because I'm not going to take my weekender with me. I normally will take a weekender bag with me, pack it in my bag to go on to my destination so that I have it to use as a carry-on on the way back, but I don't want to do that this time. So I'm going to take this bag, which will provide me more room. It'll go, you know, kind of light weight to begin with, uh, but I'll be able to put souvenirs in it and whatnots to bring it back home. So that's why I wanted a bigger bag. Also, I wanted a bigger bag. I always take my laptop with me, so I want a place to be able to carry my laptop. So this bag provides me that opportunity. It has a nice laptop sleeve back here in one of the zippers. Also too, I've already got some things packed in here. I'm gonna show you what I have. Alrighty. First of all, I have one of these spiffy diffy folders and I will give a link to this because honest to goodness, you guys, it, this link has worked forever. What links have worked and have worked for years, I will give you in the description. Others that I don't feel like, I feel like might not work, I'll just give you the name. So anyway, here are these folders. I love these folders. These are eight pocket folders and they are from Oxford. And I just love these for my traveling. I put my boarding, I carry one with me, put our boarding passes, and these are luggage tag holders that I just got from Amazon too. I'll give you a link for these. Then they have the silver rings on them. So I'll print out our boarding passes and our luggage tags, put the luggage tags in here. And then I carry the luggage tags along with us extra luggage tags and then I put <clears throat> a luggage tag in each two luggage tags in each front pocket of the suitcases just in case one gets lost or gets torn off I have an extra one in there and so people the you know the in our case princess uh, crew will be able to find us <laughs> on the ship but anyway I just have those stuck in there for now but this is what I put you know like I say our boarding passes travel insurance excursion information all the stuff that I need to print out before we leave. I use this, these folders, I love it. What else do I have in here? I have a couple of easy as pie crossword puzzles. Yes, I could do a harder crossword puzzle, but I love this. For one thing, it is like a spiral notebook and you could open it right up 
and fold it right back and not have a big lump that you're trying to you know write over and then they're easy they really are easy as pie I can get through a whole a whole puzzle pretty much every time so I really enjoy these on the plane even uh, at night before I go to sleep I always need to do something you know either read or do a crossword puzzle or something to make myself sleepy you know so I utilize these a lot so I have a couple of them in here because I have two like half used books so I'm gonna take both <laughs> with me and then I have a book here uh, that I have not read and I have met, been meaning to read but haven't uh, this is about the inside passage we're going to Alaska again and this is about the inside passage where we'll be cruising and this fella is going to be the naturalist on our ship we're going on the ruby princess this is going to be our naturalist hello so i need to read this book you guys but i have it in here because i know i'll read it on the plane you know i think it'll probably be a pretty fast read but i love it so i have this book <clears throat> i will usually take my kindle with me but i'm just going to take this one book so that's all i'm taking with that and that's what's in the one back zipper then in the middle there's a big middle pouch see that oh my goodness I can fit tons in here you guys if I want to you can make it as heavy or as light as you want for me I don't like hoofing a really heavy bag through the airport so I'm not going to fill it up too too much but I did want to show you there are a couple pockets in the back I just have a couple of glasses holders because goodness knows I've got usually have my glasses on my head I need reading glasses and sunglasses and one pair will not fit or two pairs will not fit they're supposed to be double glass holders but they fit maybe two of my reading glasses but not sunglasses and reading glasses so I just take two with me also in here I have some to-go Clorox wipes and if I see something really nasty and dirty, I'll wipe it down, like on the plane, you know, the handles on the plane seats and, you know. So I always have them with me just because I'm a clean freak. Then I have a, a double zip cosmetic bag. This is where I put all my cords, you know, my uh, charging cables and, you know, whatnots is what it goes in here. Uh, this is a small cosmetic bag from Vera. And what I usually put in here is band-aids, neosporin, toothpicks, uh, you know, things that I think I might, those little toothbrush scrubby little things and just enough of stuff to get me to my destination. It doesn't have to be stocked full of everything known to man, uh, but you know, some Advil just in case I get a headache, some Tylenol just in case, you know, stuff like that just to get to the destination. Uh, you know, it, just a little grab bag of stuff. So I always just have just this little grab bag of stuff. So then of course I do put, I have a, here in the front pocket, I have just a pad of paper in one of these front pockets here. I just have a pad of paper because, and no, this doesn't match. This just happens to kind of match, doesn't it? <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose, I promise. <laughs> uh, but just a pad of paper, you never know when you're gonna to wanna to write something down. And most people nowadays use their phones, but I oftentimes give out my YouTube channel and things like that. So I like to take a little pad of paper, especially when you're cruising with other people, which we are this time, and you wanna leave them a note, you know? So I want to be able to, you know, have just a pad of paper. I also have like a luggage tag that I will hang on this. This is not a cruise ship luggage tag. This just will have my personal, you know, information on it that I'll, that I'll hang. And I did get this at that little sale too. And then I just take a little pouch full of uh, highlighter and pens and things like that just to have for my crossword puzzles. And if somebody needs a pen, you know, so that's what I have in the front pocket. The only other thing that I might take in here would be the smallest cube. I don't have, I have some cubes sitting here because I was going to show you some cubes. This is like a medium sized cube. Uh, the cubes that I buy, I will put a link for those in the description. Definitely uh, are from Shack Pack or Shake Pack. I pronounce it Shack Pack. They all have a handle. Anyway, I would take the smallest one of those, which is about that big, I would say, and fill it with, you know, an extra pair of undies, you know, maybe one outfit that would easily fit in a, in a cube. 
and take that just in case you were to get uh, stranded somewhere so that you would have, you know, a change of the essentials, you know. So that is my carry-on. Let me show you something about this bag if you did not see my other video where I showed this bag. It does have a sleeve in the back that you can put it down over your telescoping handle, you know, on your suitcases. But if you don't want to, you know, you might want to use it, you know, until you get your luggage checked. And then, of course, you're going to carry this with you. You might want to close it up and use it as a pocket, which would be quite a secure pocket because it also zippers shut too. So this is a very, very nice bag. Nice multi-purpose bag. It has a pocket right there that my phone will fit right into. Nice multi-purpose bag. The only thing I'm a little hesitant or a little worried about are the handles on this. I'm hoping it works out fine. And they do have a little bit of a, a like a leather piece on it that sits nicely on my shoulder. And I can hang this down at my side. I'm tall though, I'm eight, five, eight and a half. So I'm not sure that everybody would be able to do that, but I can. So I think this is gonna work out well. Not to mention the fact that I can wear it, you know, it matches pretty much anything I wear. You know, reds and pinks and greens and don't wear a lot of yellow, but if on the off chance I would, it would match. So that, my friends, is my carry-on. Uh, and practically packed for when we go. I just, of course, need to put my cords and my laptop will go in there and I need to print off all my stuff. <laughs> but other than that, it's ready to go. So that's what's in my carry-on for sure. Okie dokie. Now let's move on to my, my must-haves. And let me say that I would never expect anybody or everybody to take what I take. <laughs> I take more than the average Joe, probably. Uh, but I am trying to pare things down a little bit this time. Regardless, please just use this as a template and maybe to spark an idea for something that you might want to take on yours. So I have a little basket here that I have been putting things in, you know, for the last couple of months when I think about it and you know, as I'm readying myself to go. So I'm just going to start going through this little basket and show you what I have in here. I see, first of all, this is what I, I'm already planning that this is the only little jewelry box I'm gonna take. And this is from 31. And in here already I have a couple of lanyards that have uh, little jewels in them that pop out. See that, that pop out? and you can replace them. And I'll give you a link in the description for these. And I also have uh, some covers for the cruise cards. Eventually on princess ships, those of you who cruise princess, they are going, they're trying to work on the ocean medallion, putting that into all of the ships. And eventually uh, they're not gonna let you punch a hole in your card, even if you'll have a cruise card. But as they're changing things over, the cards are gonna have mechanisms in them that you can't you're not going to be able to punch a hole in them so I heard that and I thought well I'm just going to go ahead and start using sleeves just in case that's the point I don't need to get on a ship take a lanyard and not have you know what I need so I do purchase these are very not very inexpensive from Amazon and they hang right on my lanyard and I do wear a lanyard not everybody does some people can't stand them I wear them because my pants don't have pockets normally so I need to hang it around my neck. I used to stick it in my bra, you guys, and I was like, mm, that's not very nice of me to be, oh yeah, here, you know, no, no, no. Because you use your cruise card for everything on the ship, you know? So I, I, so I wanted to have a little bit more cooth, so that's why I wear a lanyard, for sure. And here's all the little different little um, jewels that come with those lanyards. They're really cute lanyards. And you can see, it, you know, about covers, whatever you might, wear in a day you know so and they just and I just put them in a little you know jewelry bag <clears throat> but I do plan on taking the rest of my jewelry in this little bag I know I'm gonna be taking scarves so I I can tell you guys I'm gonna be wearing this this necklace I will probably take one Brighton necklace and my and my bracelets and different earrings you know, I'm not gonna take a ton of jewelry. I know I won't need it. It's Alaska and I'm gonna be dressed warmly. So I'm not gonna 
I'm not going to need, you know, a bunch of different necklaces and whatnot. I want whatever take I take, whatever I choose to take, will fit in this little bag easily. So this is all I'm going to take for my jewelry. That's it. Just this bag. So that's one place where I'm really downsizing is with my jewelry. Usually I'll take two or three different watches. I'll take five or six different necklaces that I'm like, I'm not doing it this time. Now, uh, <clears throat> before I get to my uh, bag here, I wanted to show you this little purse that my dear friends, Pat and Barbara, gave me on the Royal during uh, our Caribbean cruise. They gave me this sweet, sweet little purse that holds a cell phone beautifully. And again, when you cruise with other people, especially and on Princess, they have something called the Princess at Sea app that you can put on your phone when you get on board. You can't do it before you get on board. And you can communicate with one another on the ship. So we were always communicating back and forth, you know, like texting one another. And they bought me this purse and we all carried our phones around in our little purses. So I'm gonna take this with me because I'm again cruising with one of the sisters <laughs> and other people that I will, you know, ha need to have my phone with me to check and see if we're, ta you know, communicating, want to meet for dinner, want to meet to go look at a glacier, you know, whatever. So I want to carry this with me on the ship. So I love it. So I'm going to take that little purse with me. And I have here a pop-up laundry basket. Now, I will probably do laundry on one day, maybe one time on the ship, but I might not need to do it this time. Uh, but I still wanna take the laundry basket, you guys, because I'm not one of those people who likes to have dirty laundry laying around on the floor. And when you walk into these staterooms, the closet is open. It doesn't have a door on it. We're staying in a mini suite this time, and it doesn't have a door on it. And so you can see right in the closet, and I don't want a bunch of dirty clothes heaped up on the floor laying there. So I always take a little pop-up laundry basket, cheap as can be on Amazon, and it takes up no room and it's light as a feather, you guys. And I'm not gonna pop it open because I always knock myself out when I do it. <laughs> but it opens up and it's about, I would say two feet high, you know? And it holds everything you need, and I stick a couple of uh, uh, dryer sheets in it to help with the smell and whatnot. So a pop-up laundry basket. Again, I will link what I can in the description. If not, you know, just search on Amazon, which is all I do, you guys. So I don't know why I have these gloves stuck in here in this uh, little basket here, little, little tote, but I do take a couple of pairs of, uh, I might just take one pair of fingerless gloves. Let me get them on. There we go. And you know, I'm a photographer, I like to take pictures, you know, and it is cold in the glaciers when you're viewing the glaciers and when I'm taking pictures, it is cold, not chilly, cold. <laughs> Those glaciers make their own weather, you guys. So my hands get so cold I, and I'm always layered. I have usually have a, you know, a shirt and then a hoodie and then a jacket. Honestly, that's what I wear in the glaciers. And then I have my gloves and then I can take my pictures my hands are free and I can feel like I can hold on to the camera better and I can take my pictures I love them fingerless gloves best thing somebody in one of our uh, the Alaska group mentioned these last year and I got them and I was so glad I had them so highly recommend little fingerless gloves and of course and they're kind of blingy and I really like a you know a really cute little it has a little flower on it again these I got these from Amazon you know and these are the other pair so I'm not sure I'll probably only take one pair but I think they're just as cute as a button. Okay, now I do have a couple of other things separate from, I have one big hanging, which is what I've been trying to fit everything in. So that's why I'm trying to tell you everything else first. My hanging organizer, I've never used one of these things. I love it, you guys. Oh my gracious, I think I'm gonna love this. And I'll show you everything I have in this in just a second. Okie dokie, guys. I have one little, Vera case here full of none other than magnets uh, because I do hang my lanyard on them a hat you know you could even hang a coat on this and it would stay on the wall honestly 
but I do also put up maps in our stateroom. I put a map up of Glacier Bay, and I put a map up that goes that comes with the with this book, with the Alaska Cruise Companion book, and this comes with a map, and I put the map up on the up on the wall. This is a lovely map. This is a lovely book. For those of you who cruise Princess, you can find it right now in your cruise personalizer if you're cruising Alaska. It's the last one on the list if you go in and you look at uh, onboard reservations, I believe, and go into uh, available in the shops, I think, and go right to the end. And uh, I saw this yesterday anyway. I'm hoping they still have it. But if not, they have, they'll have it on board. It was like $18.99 for the book and the map, and it's a big, big map of... Uh, where you're going to be cruising to and it covers all of the routes that princess takes with their ships through the inside passage i love it i love it so this map will get hung up <clears throat> and then the park rangers when they come on board in on glacier bay day where our itinerary includes glacier bay and they will give a uh, you'll get a map in your mailbox the morning of glacier bay and i put that up too and I also have a few others in here that I've purchased in Alaska. Little eagle, you know, and the inside passage. You know, just a couple of little, my dear friend Liz gave me this magnet one time when we visited her. And then I made this one up of my family. So I take these two too. So just a little pouch of magnets. And that's just, this, this stuff is just personal to me. I know that might seem silly to some, but I'm a big sap and I like to have my dogs and my family somewhere where I can see them <laughs> when we're cruising. So that's why I take that. So just one little bag and it's, it's a little heavy, maybe a pound. I don't know how I have my scale here, but maybe a pound, you know, if that much. But it is important to me. This is an important thing for me. And I just have a couple of bags that I know I'm going to need. I use this for my brushes, you know, when I do my hair. So, and they won't fit in this bag. So this will hold my brushes. And uh, then this will hold my curling irons. Because they won't fit in that bag either. <laughs> so these are both Vera bags, you know. So these are the two bags I know that I'm going to need extra over and above this. That carries pretty much the rest of my must-haves. And then I have a little makeup case I'll show you that I'm going to take. <clears throat> See, only one other thing uh, outside of this bag, and that is my little pill case. Normally, I don't even worry about taking a pill case, you guys. I usually just take the, the bottles and go with it that way if it's a longer cruise. But this time, it's only, we're only cruising for, you know, a, a regular seven-day cruise. So I'm just going to take this. Kristen got me this a long time ago, you know. And... Uh, you know, put my daily med, or, you know, I might just put like Advil in two and Tylenol in two and, you know, something like that. I'm not sure exactly what I'll do it, or I'll do my daily. You know, Chris takes his own meds. He has a couple of prescription medications that he takes in the original bottles. So I don't know if you need to take things in the original bottles. I've heard you do need to, but I know that a lot of people get them from bulk and they print out their, uh, prescription and that works just fine too. But don't quote me on that, please. Please look into your mail air carrier and check with them or TSA and check. Don't go by me on that because I don't know. I just know that Chris takes his in his own bottles. But please don't take what I say as gospel because I don't know. I don't know for sure, for sure on that. So anyway, all right, here we go. This is a travel organizer, hanging travel organizer from Vera. I got this at that sale too. And it does have penguins, even though you don't see penguins in Alaska. I am going to Antarctica though. And she was in 2020, <laughs> Talk, I'm like 500 and some days out from that cruise, it's craziness. <laughs> but regardless, I got the penguins before I even we even booked for the Antar Antarctica cruise. But anyway, I love this. I love the penguins. I think it's so cute. So anyway, let's open this thing up. And let me show you what I have in here. And it's pretty much packed other than the medications is what I'm having an issue with. Like, like I always take some cold meds. I take vitamin C. I take uh, 
like I said, Advil and Tylenol, and I'm just not sure. I might have to take one extra bag just for the medications. You know, it wouldn't have to be a big bag, but just one to fit that stuff in. Everything else, though, that I think I'm going to need is in this hanging organizer. Check it out. Start from the top and go down. Okay, in here, top pocket, I have... This is really important to me, you guys. I have shower caps, and I have a little hook that I take, and I hook the hook around one of the towel bars, you know, in the shower or wherever, in the bathroom, and I take my shower cap because, you know, I don't wash my hair every day. So it's color treated, and I don't wanna wash it. The color, you know, the more you wash it, the less color you have, in my opinion, anyway. So. I take a little shower caps. I have a couple, one for the hotel and then one for the cruise part, and then just one of the uh, clips that I'll just use on the ship. We're going a day early. That's one thing I will say about cruising, you guys. Always travel a day early, please. You just never know when something might happen with your flights. That if you're cruising or you're traveling the day of your cruise, please just bite the bullet and stay in a hotel that one night, just so you know you're there. The ships won't wait for you on that day. They won't. If they, they need to leave port for reasons by whatever time they say. So please go the day before. Travel the day before and stay in a hotel one night. You know? So, unless you can drive, unless you're like an hour, whatever, walk to the port. I mean, I've seen people down in Fort Lauderdale, met a couple who walked to the port. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. That would be heaven. But anyway, oh, so all I wanted to show you, it has a little come out. Like a little hook that you can hang it either in the closet or you know on the back of the bathroom door there's hooks or on a towel rack or on the shelving I would imagine in the bathroom there we go so that's that one next one down I have a uh, outlet extender <laughs> a power strip made for cruising you guys i will definitely put a link in the description it has three usb cables and two places extra places to plug in on cruise ships there's not a lot of places to plug not a lot of plugs uh if you have a cpap or you know other things we don't use cpaps but i i have a lot of electronics that i like to plug in this is safe to cruise with this is not a surge protector do not on princess cruises you are not allowed to take surge protectors. They are fire hazards, you guys. So this is what I got, and yes, I will give you a link in the description for this. Most definitely great. So I have that, and then I take a little clock. I take a little clock because I like to wake up, when I wake up in the middle of the night, I like to look over and I like to see what time it is. And this little clock has an illuminated screen. I don't have the batteries in it right now, but it has an illuminated screen. It lights up at night, and I can wake myself. If I wake up in the middle of the night, I can look over and say, okay, it's 310 or 420 or whatever time it is, and then I can go back to sleep. If I don't know what time it is, I'm like, what time is it? Do I need to get up? You know, I'm a mess. So in order to solve that issue, I bought this little marathon clock, and it takes three, two or three, I think, triple A, two triple A batteries. So, and they work for a long, it works for a long time. It worked for a whole 15 day cruise and had more battery life, so, for us. So that's one thing I always take. That is definitely a must have for me. So that was the next one. Next down, I have Tide Pods. Double <laughs> or triple bagged here. Uh, I, it, like I say, I may do some laundry on the ship. I think I've got like six or seven pods probably won't do that much but I always like to take extra just in case there's somebody on the ship who needs one I'll have an extra to give them you know uh, so that's one thing that I have there are laundromats on all passenger jack decks on most uh, cruise ships princess ships I don't know about other ships uh, but on princess ships there's there's a, a passenger laundry and the reason I take these is I don't want to have to pay a dollar fifty to do a load of laundry, you know, or actually three dollars because it's a dollar fifty for the detergent and then a dollar fifty for like uh, 
dryer sheets. I take my own dryer sheets. I haven't bought that. I need to write a list of things that I need to get. I need to get some dryer sheets. That's one thing. Not only do I do use the dryer sheets in the laundry mat too, but I put them in the drawers in the stateroom and, and in the pop-up laundry basket. You know, it just makes everything smell so much better. So I do need to get some dryer sheets, but these are Tide Pods. So I take them. And then the first thing that Chris and I do when we get into our, our stateroom is we wipe down the stateroom. Even though there, I hardly ever get a spot of dirt on these, when I wipe, I always wipe it down. The rails, the, the balcony rails, the chair rails on the balcony, the remote, the remote control, uh, your end table lights, your light switches, your doorknobs, everything. I wipe it down, I wipe it down, and I'll tell you another hint. Now let me talk a minute about norovirus. Norovirus is nothing more than the stomach flu. Uh, and I've heard that even the Clorox wipes won't kill norovirus. It will kill other, you know, bacterias. Uh, and the best defense against norovirus, everything I've heard, is just a good hand washing, you guys. And wash your hands a lot. Wash your hands before, you know, they have antibacterial uh, canisters, you know, that you can put your hand under and bzz, it gives you your antibacterial type, but even that may not, you know, kill all germs. Wash your hands a lot. Keep your hands off your face. Don't touch your face a lot. Uh, but wash your hands saying happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you twice through, and that will kill all your germs. Also, another hint, I very rarely, if I can at all help it, uh, will go back to my own stateroom to use the bathroom there. Because let's face it, I know what's gone on in there, and I don't know what's gone on in one of the public bathrooms. So I really do try to go back to my room, if at all possible, you know. Of course, when you're out on excursions, you have to just take your chances, you know, wash your hands and, and, and move on. But, you know, on the ship, you have a choice, and I choose to go back to my stateroom when possible. So, there we go. I digress a little bit. But anyway, that's what I do with the Clorox wipes. And I have one more pouch here. And in here, I have another little pouch, and I have uh, Band-Aids, and I, I didn't bring it out here, did I? I have a little thing of Neurosporin. I have just Band-Aids and Neosporin, and toothpicks! I take my toothpicks. I can't find toothpicks on these ships. I don't know what the deal is. And we use toothpicks all the time. I don't know whether everybody else does, but we do. So I just take toothpicks. I just throw them in. They're light as a feather, and I take them, you know? So, also in here, I have some of my toiletries that, uh, you know, I have my shampoo and my conditioner, and uh, I have a little soap dish. I always take my own soap. I don't like their soap, but that's just me. I have really sensitive skin and I break out a lot, so I take my own Dove soap. I take my own hair gel. This is left over from my last trip. I'll have to put a little bit more in there, but I take my own hair gel. I take, uh, this is a little bit of uh, bug inspect repellent. Don't know whether I'll need it, probably won't because we're only taking one excursion way out into the wilds of Alaska and at Crochel's uh, Refuge, we're doing that again this year and they provide their own. Don't wear, if you're going there, by the way, don't wear uh, insect repellent because they provide their own and they don't like the, you know, all the harsh chemicals in this. They don't want them around their animals, which I totally respect. So I take a little bit of insect repellent, and this is just from Cutter Skintations. As I say, I don't think I'll need it, but I might. Then I just take a little, you know, a little bit of Gold Bond and uh, a little Pantene, you know, just in case for a switch out if I want something different. What's in here? Oh, these are, uh, you know, need to floss every day, you guys. <laughs> so that's, that's what's in here. And it fit all in here and everything, you know, the only, there's really nothing else that I need. There's really nothing else that I can think of that I need to put in here. A couple of safety pins here, and I do normally take some safety pins. Not that many, I just need whatever, you know. So I brought that out here so that I can remember to get myself, I have a little bags like that that I'll just, you know, transfer some of those over. But that's it, you guys. And then it just folds up and ties shut. And that's it, you know? I love it. And that's all I'm taking. I'm not, I have downsized. I'm not taking, oh, I do have 
and what I do with them. I did get some soap. Uh, I don't like their, like I said, I don't like their soap. So I did buy myself Shops. some, I can't remember the, the name of it. I'll put a link in the description for that. Just some hand soap and a small three ounce bottle. So I got that. So I'll put the link for that in the description. So I'll put that in there. But other than that, that's the only other thing. I usually take a full size, uh, you know, like bath and body uh, foam hand soap. I usually take uh, Dawn. I'm not taking that with me this time. I'm really trying to downsize for me. For me, I'm trying to downsize a little bit, so. But that's it, that is what is in my carry-on and my must-haves. I am taking another folder, by the way, for my Princess Patters, which is their daily paper that you'll get every day in your mailbox. Uh, it gives you an hourly breakdown of everything that's going on in the ship, all the board times, dining rooms, bars, you know, times of operation, special shows. Oh my goodness, it's a plethora of information in your princess pattern. So I save all of those obviously for my blog and I put them here in this folder. So, but that's it you guys. Again, I'll say as I do at the end of all of my videos here, I hope that there's nobody struggling with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain. And I hope that there's nothing weighing on your mind or your heart, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or where it should be. I keep you all in my thoughts and my prayers all the time. And I love you all to bits. And thank you again for stopping by. And with that, I will just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.